As Utah works to find a solution to stop the Great Salt Lake from drying up, scientists are finding similarities to some ecological disasters in other parts of the world. A local PhD student is hoping that we can learn from those mistakes of a Chilean community. Fox 13 News reporter Spencer Joseph takes a look at his stark warning for the damaging impacts of a dry Great Salt Lake. Drying lakes are posing uh, ecological risks, human health risks, uh, economic risks to farmers and ranchers in the regions. Some scientists believe the site of a former lake in Chile gives an alarming peek at the possible future of the Great Salt Lake. Just a decade ago, Lake Aculeo was the thriving tourist destination. A series of decisions put the water in danger and it eventually dried up completely. In Lake Aculeo in Chile, uh, there was a number of, uh, kind of unmanaged, unpermitted secondary uh, wells that were being drilled for um, you know, people's second homes um, at this lake because the lake was beautiful. Um, people would sail on it. It was a shallow lake. Uh, you know, people would come to vacation there. Will Munger, a PhD student at Utah State University, recently participated in a National Science Foundation funded fellowship with boots on the ground at the former shores of Lake Aculeo. He couldn't help but to see the similarities to his home state's most iconic body of water. You know, I use the phrase slow motion ecological disaster because a lot of these things happen in slow motion year by year. You know, um, I was born in 1987, and when I look at Great Salt Lake images from 1987, it was much bigger. And over my lifetime, it has shrunk down to its current level. So these things happen slowly. Will believes if the Great Salt Lake dries up, we will face multiple issues. There is former mining contamination, uh, arsenic, and um, dust in that lake bottom that if aerosolized, if it dries out and the wind picks it up, just like what I documented in Chile, uh, that has huge implications for public health and air quality along the Wasatch Front. Utah seeing a similar combination of factors that contributed to Lake Akaleo's ultimate demise, including drought, changes in local irrigation, and demands from growing urban populations. Yes, agriculture takes about 80% of water in Utah. Um, the other part of that challenge is that urban water demand and urban uh, water development is also growing. William sees this as an opportunity. We're not alone in dealing with something like the Great Salt Lake drying out. People around the world are dealing with similar issues coming from drought and uh, water management issues. And so the more that we can listen and learn to re from each other, uh, the, the better off we're going to be. Munger and his colleagues are hoping cautionary tales like Lake Akuleo will serve as a warning for Utah leaders and spark a movement that can save the Great Salt Lake. The more proactive we can be, uh, the, the more we can lessen the risk in, in the future. Spencer Joseph, Fox 13 News, Utah.